Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to replace your background in a Zoom meeting. So if you have a clutter background and you want something very professional, this is the right video for you. I'm gonna show you how to use the default backgrounds that comes with Zoom, and I'm gonna show you how to use any video or image that you want as your background and where to get some professional ones as well. If you've never used Zoom before, I do have a full tutorial on that and I'll put that in the link below this video in the description so you can watch that learning all about Zoom, how to create your own Zoom meeting and how to join existing meetings. But right now, let's go ahead and jump into Zoom, assuming we already have one. If you don't have the Zoom application, click the link below to get it and once you get it, I'm gonna go ahead and press new meeting. Now this could be your own meeting, you could be a meeting that you're joining, it doesn't matter. Let me end the other meeting here and join with audio. Now I don't have anyone in this meeting, but I'm gonna change my background and every time I join a new meeting, it should stay there. So in order to change your background, you'll have to come down here and with this little arrow here, press that, and I'm gonna choose virtual background. Now this background looks a little bit cluttered. The background's too bright. It doesn't look very good, even though I have a bright light right in front of me. And I recommend you do the same thing. Have some front light coming in so people could see you. But I'll choose virtual background here. And now in the settings, the virtual backgrounds, look at some of these here. I could have San Francisco as my background. I'll have to go ahead and press download on it. And as you can see, the background has changed and I could change it to this earth one and there's a video one here with a little motion. Now it's not perfect, but it will do the job for the most part. But let me show you how to add your own backgrounds, not the ones that are built in here. The built-in ones I really don't find very useful because they're not very realistic. I can't be on top of Golden Gate Bridge here. So let me show you how to add your own. So press the plus sign here and you could add your own image or video. So one place I like to get those is, let me go ahead and minimize this. It's called Shutterstock.com. Now, the reason why I like this is because it's so easy to find the images. They're very professional and they're royalty free. That means you basically pay a couple of bucks and you have permission to use them. It's not just taking them off of Google. But let me show you what I'll do here. So let me under this do office interior here. And I have a link to this website as well if you wanna test it out. But you can see all these office backgrounds. So if you're working from home, for example, this is good to use one of these as your background. So let me go ahead and choose this, for example. And you could just do a test one. So I could just go ahead and press try on here and log in and it will be free, but I already have an account, so let me log in. So I'll just press try. I'm not gonna buy it, but it's gonna have a watermark. So if you do like it, you could get the subscription and then you could own that image. But now that it's in my download folder, let me go back to Zoom. And let me again press this up arrow and choose virtual background. And I'll press this plus sign right here against choose virtual background, add my own image. Now this went straight to my download library. So let me go to the download tab here and I'll choose this one and I'll press open. That's the stock image I just got. And as you can see, now it looks a lot more realistic. Now the height's not perfect, so you'll have to kind of adjust your computer or test out some other ones where it doesn't look like you're too low but I usually elevate my computer so I'm eye level with this so it looks a lot more professional here rather than looking down at the laptop and the computer on your laptop if you're using a laptop for this. So I elevated my laptop and I'm eye line and it looks a lot better. But if I didn't like this background, I could just go back to Shutterstock here and test a different one. If you wanted just something more plain, you could do brick wall, for example. Let's say I just wanted this brick wall as my background. I could go ahead and try this one. And when I'm ready and I like one of them, I could press download here. Let me go back to Zoom. Again, I'll go back to choose your virtual background, press plus, add image. This works with videos as well. And now I have a brick one. Now you don't want to have the watermark, so you have to make sure you remove those. And if you really want this to be very professional, what you need to do is go to virtual background and you have to put a green screen. Green screen is basically a fabric that's all green, but it does a much better job of making the background a lot more professional. So if you have that, you could press that and it will work immediately. Now it won't work if you don't have it because there's nothing to key out. It's called keying out when you have a green screen. You could mirror yourself as well, depending on what the background looks like. But that's how you use virtual backgrounds in Zoom. Again, with green screens, a lot more professional, getting some professional ones from Shutterstock. So it really depends on how professional you need to be with your background here. And anytime you could go back to none and it'll go back to the default background, my natural environment here. 
I hope you found this Zoom video useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos posted every single day, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.